And good evening. Thousands of people from right here in southwest Virginia and all across the country filled the streets of Richmond today to oppose gun control laws being pushed by Democratic lawmakers. Even though there were threats of violence, the massive rally was peaceful with only one arrest. According to Capitol Police, an estimated 22,000 people attended the rally with 6,000 people on Capitol Square and 16,000 outside the gates. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell begins our coverage tonight. She is live outside the legislature where she met up with several people from our area who traveled to Richmond for the big event. Jessica. Well, John, as you can see, the temporary state of emergency is still in effect here, but the cause for concern is gone. Capitol grounds now empty, as you can see behind me, but just hours ago, Thousands of people were packed in here using their First Amendment right to protect their second. Now take a look at the huge crowds that turned out this morning. The Virginia Citizens Defense League held an hour long rally, getting people fired up to fight gun control measures, making their way through the General Assembly. Among this massive crowd, thousands of people from Southwest Virginia. We met up with some of them this morning who tell us they woke up at two to board buses to be part of this rally at the Capitol today. Many of them come from places that have declared themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries. Despite threats of violence, today was largely peaceful and people from Franklin County we spoke with say that's no surprise. We're here and as peaceful demonstrators and that's what we want to do. So we don't want to stir up trouble. We realize through our study of the Constitution's original intent that that's the only peaceful solution that there is. And this is absolutely amazing that we could be out here with this many people in a peaceful assembly. We did see a small group of counter protesters and a little confrontation but still, as we mentioned, mostly peaceful demonstrations. Now, some people from our area took the time to meet with lawmakers this morning. We'll tell you at 530 how those conversations went and why one man from Franklin County says he left with even more frustration. All right, Jessica, I'm curious before you go, why did the people that you spoke with decide to go through all the security, the metal detectors and so forth to be on the Capitol grounds instead of just staying out in the streets like most people did? Well, it's true that security was a little bit of a pain. The lines were very long, but people we spoke with say they thought it was symbolic to be on the Capitol grounds for such a massive event. And they tell us they didn't really care about carrying their weapons, which you could do outside of Capitol grounds because they said they knew that things would be peaceful. Back to you. Well, this rally has brought national attention to Virginia's attempts to enact new gun regulations pushed by Democrats who took control of the state house for the first time in 26 years. Lawmakers say that they are acting on voters' wishes propelled by last year's mass shooting in Virginia Beach. Quite frankly, uh, whether we had 1,000 or 10,000 people here today um, doesn't belie the point that more than 2 million people voted in November, and clearly um, most Virginians want us to take action to try and save lives and, and enact meaningful gun reform. Meanwhile, opponents warned that the measures, including universal background checks, a ban on military-style rifles, and a bill that would allow authorities to temporarily take guns from people deemed dangerous, would snowball into attempts to disarm the public. And that's why thousands more demonstrated with their weapons outside Capitol grounds, many of them making deliberate displays of their military style rifles. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is live where they stood for hours today. And Tommy, what was that like for them? Yeah, these streets were packed. They're clear now, but I mean, it was just shoulder to shoulder gun rights supporters all up and down these streets here. We're next to the Capitol and they people had guns out here. They were holding signs. They were also chanting. Take a listen to that. Yeah, the demonstrators just filled these streets, and we're talking about for hours today as law enforcement looked on. Many of them told us they didn't even want to go inside that fenced-off area because you couldn't carry guns in there, and they wanted to have their weapons out. They wanted to have that display, and they're glad to see so many other people wanted the same thing. What do you think of the fact that there are thousands of fellow gun rights supporters here? That should tell people that all of these bills that they're putting forward is not what Virginia wants. It's a little bit more than what I was expecting, honestly. Yeah, I'm impressed. 
The sheer number of people at this rally really shows all the passion that's involved in this issue. It also shows the fear that many have over the stricter gun laws that are being proposed here in the legislature. Guys. And Tommy, we know there were some other ways that people showed support today. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, the excitement extended far beyond these streets. It pushed out into the other streets around the Capitol as some trucks drove by very loudly specifically to show support. Here's how that looked. Yeah, and people cheered him on, too. There was a lot of celebration and cheering here today. Tonight on 10 News at 530, we're going to tell you just how far people traveled in order to take part in this event today. Guys. All right. Thanks so much, Tommy. We will talk with you again a little later. All right. Meanwhile, within the last just 15 minutes, Governor Northam has released a statement about today's demonstration. He says, quote, Virginia law enforcement and first responders demonstrated tremendous professionalism, and I am proud of their work, again, according to the governor. Governor goes on to say thousands of people came to Richmond to make their voices heard. Today showed that when people disagree, they can do so peacefully. Even though Capitol Square is now closed, security remains tight. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstack continues our live coverage tonight. And Coulter, what are you seeing now in terms of security? Yeah, Brittany, chain link fencing like this right here that started surrounding Capitol Square and the Capitol building itself over the weekend obviously remain up. State police are still here in Capitol Square as well. This chain link fencing will remain up until tomorrow when Governor Northam's temporary state of emergency ends. This is what the entry checkpoint to Capitol Square here looked like just after 7 o'clock this morning when this square opened. There were about a dozen metal detectors people had to walk through. Those metal detectors were manned by state police and Capitol Police. There were dozens of law enforcement officers walking through the crowd throughout the day in Capitol Square, and there were also uh, law enforcement officers dressed in camo on both the roof of the Capitol building and the roof of the building directly across the street on Gray Street. While most people probably were appreciative of the law enforcement effort here in Capitol Square, not everyone felt it was necessary. I think it's a bit much. I think if they weren't here, we wouldn't have any incidents anyway. I mean, I was up here in July for the special session, and I was carrying. I went through the bottom thing down there, and they let me on in. No incidents at all. To my knowledge, there's never been an incident in the Capitol. He says he feels the security, along with the temporary ban on guns here in Capitol Square for the rally, was like Governor Northam poking law-abiding citizens in the eyes. Coming up tonight on 10 News at 530, despite fear the large crowd could lead to violence, here why one man says the crowd is why he felt safe. For now, the live in Richmond, Coulter Anstad, 10 News, working for you. Obviously, a lot to talk about here, and we will have live team coverage on the rally throughout the night. You can also get updates by downloading the 10 News mobile app. We also have more pictures and videos of today's demonstration on WSLS.com.